Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. So in the last part, we went up, uh, or went down, rather, into this little underground area here. Fought some slugs, got some presents. Good stuff, let's get going. So we're supposed to be following Kumatora here. And we got some more slugs. Alright, let's take out this one. Alright, pretty easy stuff. So we get going up this ladder here. And where are we gonna end up? Whoa, it's a bedroom. That secret passage is handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention that sticky jump from all those slugs. Yeah, really. I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick, so just relax here. Okay, so I'm guessing we're in uh, Kumatora slash Violet's little bedroom here. Can we take a rest? Uh, I guess not. Nothing on the table. There's a safe frog. No, I don't need anything. And a little chair over here. Oh, okay. I guess she's done with her shower then. Some way or another, I wound up with this fancy room. Anyways, go shower, you two. There's even a hot spring in there, if that's more your thing. We can talk afterwards. Now let's go ahead and talk now. I mean, we're fine. You're exhausted and dirty, ain't you? Shower will freshen you right up. No, let's talk. I know you want to hurry and all, but come on, you guys reek. Just go take a shower. No. How about you, doggy? Want me to shampoo you all up? Uh, woof or woof? Let's be excited about it. Woof! <laughs> yeah, so basically, no, no matter what you say, you uh, get thrown in here. And uh, this, much like the coffee breaks in Earthbound, is a shower break, I guess. So we're going to get a little narrative here. It goes by pretty slowly, but uh, kind of a place to sort of relax after all the action. So after showering, the three conversed at great length, almost as if filling the three-year gap that had separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey. They discussed the hummingbird from Osohe Castle and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DCMC band members appears to be an amnesic duster and they discussed the mysterious army that had radically transformed Tasmili Village. As if assembling the jumbled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they knew all too well. I want to be stronger. It was at around this time that Lucas truly began to have such feelings. Yep, so it appears Lucas has gotten a little bit motivated with all the recent events. He's uh, went from being sort of the uh, the coddled, sheltered one to uh, actually wanting to be stronger now to actually make a difference. So, nice little character development there, I suppose. But all right, so we're back. That's how I finally managed to sneak myself in here. But we'll never find out what happens to the hummingbird egg until Dusty regains his memory. At this rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. Lucas, see Duster and try talking to him. Maybe he'll remember something if he sees you two. There are guards outside. They're not exactly bad guys, but I don't want to risk making things more complicated. Oh, holy crap. What is with you and the secret passages, girl? Climb up this ladder and go through the attic. You can get to Duster's room from there. It's not the most direct way of getting there, but you're less likely to get caught. I'll get all the DCMC members together. I'll need to explain the situation to them, too. See you in a little bit. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Let's uh, see if that healed me, actually. Yeah, 119 and 88, cool. So we got a nice little heal from that. Uh, you can also go actually in here, and there's a nice little hot spring you can uh, take a dip in if you want. But of course, I don't really need that. So now we're going up here, and this place, this is actually probably, well, I mean, hands down, the hardest place we've encountered so far. But as far as the, like, the game is concerned, the entire game in general, I mean, uh, this is probably one of the hardest areas for, like, the level you're currently supposed to be at. Uh, I'm actually pretty low level for this place. This gets really tough, and the boss of this area is actually really hard. So we got an attic guide, and actually what I'm going to do is stop by this item guy here. I don't know if we've talked to him yet. If you have anything you don't need or don't want to carry around, I'll gladly hold on to it for you for free. I'll take care of uh, any items you give me, and I'll return them to you immediately when you want them back. So he can hold on to stuff, and I'm actually going to go ahead and deposit the trivia card one. Uh, a lot of people actually reminded me of that. I didn't even think about it for some reason, but whatever. Uh, so we'll deposit that to free up a spot. Uh, I'll probably end up using some of these crappy recovery items pretty soon to free up some more space. But that's pretty much all we need from him, so I'm just kind of showing off his little system there. You can also talk to this mouse here. Mice are greedy and love to collect things. Would you like to buy some of mine? Sure. And he's got some pretty cool stuff. He's actually got a better stick for us, which we just have enough DP for, which is cool. Uh, if you didn't have enough, you can actually go back down into uh, Kumatora's room. And uh, I guess we can see how much DP we have. It can't hurt, right? So we go back down here. Yes, I need something. I need DP stuff. 
So yeah, we got 657 here sitting in the bank, so we might as well take that out with us. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but if you die, you actually lose half of the DP that you had on hand. So it could be a good thing if you're uh, not confident about the area you're going to, to keep your DP in the bank. So, Alright, this is a new enemy here. It's sort of recolor, but this is an arachnid! Yeah, it's very excited, apparently. So these guys are really no problem, but they will like to poison you a lot, which can be uh, really annoying. The good thing, though, is that healing Alpha will actually take care of it, so I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. Uh, and just pretty much take out these guys here. See, they, they only take a few hits, so it's really nothing that bad. And this song is always fun to combat, too. It's still one of my favorites. I, I like the other version better, though, the one that kind of pauses a little bit. Fighting attack there. Alright, so we took him out. No real problem there. There's actually an enemy in here with a really cool song that I should get to show here before too long. Oh yeah, we're poisoned, so we get all blurry. Uh, but like I said, the good news is Healing Alpha will take care of it, and for not really a whole lot of uh, PP, so now we don't really need to recover that much. Uh, I think this is a new enemy. It might not be, but I guess I'm going to show it anyway. Uh, greedier Mouse. So uh, we met the Greedy Mouse before. This is the Greedier version. I really don't like combo with this song either. It's kind of weird. It's really hard to find the beat, but... Alright, so, uh... Ooh, nice. Leveled up. And a bag of Big City Fries. Cool. I don't know why a mouse had a bag of fries, but whatever. Got some bug spray there. Now we can go up here. And this is the enemy I was talking about. This is actually a, a recolored version of the Mr. Batty. This is an Elder Batty. And I love this song. This is really cool. Uh, so let's attack him, and let's actually use the uh, bug spray on the arachnid, just because I don't feel like dealing with him, really. And Boney always goes first anyway, so, you know, it's always good to have. Nice. I love this song, man. Slice up the situation, and he felt a little strange. Yeah, they do that, too. That was a pretty awesome place to end it there, don't you think? Oh, nice! He attacked himself and killed himself. Awesome. Alright, so that battle went really well. And Bernie leveled up, too, which is great. Yeah, I love that song. That's pretty good. There's only a few enemies in the game with that song, really. So, uh, it's pretty it's pretty awesome whenever you do find it. Uh, so we picked up the map, and, you know, I don't know about you, but this really isn't that helpful to me. Kind of the maps in general are like that, but... Uh, there's also a new enemy we can fight down here. This is a gently weeping guitar. Obviously a Beatles reference. If you don't get that, then you don't know music at all. And this guy's got pretty cool song. This is one of the faster uh, songs in the game. Yeah, see, it's so fast, it's kind of hard to keep up with. The boss of this area actually has an even faster one. Man, I, I can barely keep up with it. But then it kind of switches, uh, maybe not in this version, but... Yeah, he used an electric shock attack. Ooh, we're a little low on health now. Alright, so this brings up another thing. It's also a very bad idea to be reckless in this place, because enemies can kill you, like, pretty much in a snap. And there's really, since we don't have anything to actually revive people from KO at this point, uh, you pretty much have to venture all the way back to the hot spring uh, in Kumatora's room, so that could be bad. Alright, let's get going. So this obviously isn't the way we need to go. This place is kind of a maze. I always get lost here. Alright, let's get going. I might want to heal up here first, actually. He, uh, he did one of those electric shock attacks. Uh, eh, we're fine. 57 is okay. Actually, I'm going to use one of our crappy recovery items. Uh, use on Boney, and use on Lucas. Alright, there we go. So, uh, I think... oh man. Okay, yeah, and another bad thing about this place is the enemies respawn every time you leave the room, so... Ooh, nice, another new enemy. This is actually probably one of my favorites in the area. This is a beaten drum, and he's got a different version of the uh, music that we face whenever we're fighting the zombies. The, the trick to this one is that it skips a beat every eight beats. What eight, let's see if we can uh, count it out here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See, it kind of skips half of a beat there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up with because of it. I always seem to like, uh, um, what is it, like stop at 10 hits or something like that. Uh, 
Uh, that, that part's hard to keep up with, too. And this is something else he can do. He can use an attack which will change the mood in the air, which changes the uh, music. This one's actually, uh, it's a little bit faster, but probably easier to combo, too. <laughs> See, I mean, we didn't have any problems with that. So the beaten drum is actually a pretty interesting enemy, and I like that song, too. It's probably one of the, uh, the weirder ones to combo to in the game, if you ask me. Uh, I'm gonna take out this guitar real fast. Alright, and Boney leveled up again there, which is always good. That's pretty much why I'm fighting all the enemies uh, around here. Uh, let's heal up. And get what's in this present. Which is a sprinting bomb. Cool. And actually, it's also a good idea to give uh, Boney your attack items pretty much for the boss uh, of this area. Which we'll get to uh, once we get there. But uh, just as preparation, go ahead and give your attack items to Boney. It looks like we're about to run out of time, so the next part we're going to continue on through the attic and see how much more progress we can make. So then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.